Hello, I'm Kathleen Nielsen, a speaker for the One Love Conference this August in Sydney. Oh, I'm looking forward to that gathering of women. And I can't think of a better topic for a group of women of all ages and stages than the love of God. I'm going to dig into that topic, revel in that topic, not in the abstract, not in general, but by taking in the words of God who loves us so much, he actually gave us his word, ultimately his word made flesh, his son, that's how much God loves us. I'm looking forward in my session to visiting with you the very last scene in the Gospel of John, a sort of epilogue to the whole book. It's one of my favorite chapters in the Bible, that misty morning scene by the seaside where a few disciples are out in the boat fishing, not catching anything. And then just as the sun is beginning to rise, this figure appears on the shore and he calls out, hey guys, catching any fish? Well, we'll unpack together what happens as Jesus himself in this gospel's final post-resurrection appearance provides lovingly for his disciples in a miraculous way. He actually feeds them. Think of it. Fresh fish uh, cooked by Jesus on a charcoal fire. Come and have breakfast, he says. What an invitation. Think of that when you're eating breakfast tomorrow morning. Uh, that picture of Jesus himself in the flesh, the ultimate provider, calling to his disciples, come and have breakfast. After breakfast comes Jesus' dialogue with Peter, in which he asks that question three times, do you love me? What a question to be asked by the risen Lord standing right there before you. What a question to be asked of Peter, who's failed so miserably, who's outright denied his Lord three times. What does it mean to love Jesus? For all of us who know all kinds of failures, just like Peter, what do we mean when we sing about how much we love God? How do we learn to live in and live out the love of God? We'll see first what these questions meant for Peter. We'll remember what the scene follows. That is Jesus' death on the cross and three days later, his resurrection from the dead. Jesus has just laid down his life to save his sheep. The ultimate demonstration of God's love. Peter's now called to show his love for his Savior by passing it on to the rest of Jesus' sheep. Peter's an under-shepherd, and he's called three times to feed Jesus' sheep, just as Jesus has fed him. He's also called to lay down his life in the process. Well, we'll see what all these questions meant for Peter and for us, for us women living right now in the midst of all our different stories. Where do we fit into this story of loving Jesus? We are basically the sheep, the ones for whom he laid down his life because he loves us so much. How are we fed and how do we help feed others as we love our loving God? The wonderful thing is that as we dig into God's word together, we're fed and we're preparing to feed others to lay down our lives to pass it on. That's what God's love looks like lived out. And that's actually what we'll be doing as we share his word together on that August Saturday in Sydney. I can't wait. I uh, hope you'll be there. August 2nd, one love. See you there.